All right, what is this map? This is Greece, simply Greece. And we are the black player last in the turn order and is world domination. Oh boy, what are these monsters? Two, three, three, four, three, four, three, 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 five, five, three, six, four. So mostly pretty even around the board. It's pretty zoomed out, <laughs> zoomed in that one, all right. Didn't even know what that one that was. All right, we are nothing down here. So we got nothing down for this one. Two here in the North Aegean. Red seems to be going down there. Cy Cyclades, we've got four in. I see you want this one. They get they get that plus two bonus right away if nobody breaks them, and they can push into this plus three. That's a good start for the red player if nobody breaks them. Getting a bonus, being the first in turn order, and getting and holding a bonus first turn, very, very strong. Um, we've got three over here in East Macedonia, Thrace, five over in Central Macedonia, one in East Macedonia. I don't see myself very strong anywhere yet. Western Greece, I have two. Uh, Central Greece, I have the Fortified to protect it. That's just a really strong start for red. Two here, one here. I am weak ever. Cyclades is a choice I could go for. You have your bonus. Problem is it's a one, two, three point hold is stinky. North Aegean is a one, two, three point hold also stinky. I'll be the last in the turn order, so my bonus is most likely to get broken if it's multiple points to hold. Oh, there's no blizzards. Oh, gross. World domination, but no blizzards? Stinky. Where are the blizzards at? Keep it spicy, guys. I don't host lobbies when I play on this channel. I just join random lobbies so we can get... Yeah, I mean, we don't, we're don't. we not We're not strong for anything, unfortunately. We're really, really not. Uh, we can't go for this because that four is there. I don't... This is pointless trying to go for. Blue seems to be going for this over here. Yeah, like last in the turn order? Oof, man. I mean, I could go for Cyclades and just go for the three-point hold. And D, I don't love being right next to red. Uh, Attica. What is Attica? Attica only has three territories. One, two... What's the third? What's the third territory of Attica? Hello? I only see... I only see two. I'm confused. Is that it down... Wait, is Attica down there? That is Attica all the way down there. Ew. That's really ugly doll. That's worse than Cyclades. You gotta hold three and be in between these guys going through here and here. That's no good. Yeah, Attica's... Attica's stinky. Oop. They got, oh, they're, they're down 16 troops. They've been taking a, a beating down there. No, they had bad dice and they attacked and got bad dice. I think that's what happened. Um, That one's probably no good. Western Greece is only three to hold. It's farther away from red. That's good. But where's it push out into? Five and four. Cyclades can push up into Attica or North Aegean. Um, it's looking like Cyclades. Cyclades. I don't know how you say that. Central Greece is no good. You want, you want like a, a small two or three point hold. All right, you are going to grab that over there. Actually, uh, is that West Macedonia? West Macedonia. Is that West or East? West Macedonia. That's basically empty, but I'm not really near to push in without going through that. I mean, this is also equally empty. That is a one, two, that's a four point hold for plus three. I think we're just, I think we're here. The, my problem is that red is going to get a lot of troops next turn, like so seven troops. 12 stack just comes through and breaks me right here if I put near them. So I don't like that. I could break them and just make it a forever enemy. I do have eight troops up here now, now I realize. Oh. Next to you, go for Central Macedonia. Go for this. Hmm. I got nothing. We got nothing. I'm going to have to try and do a good neighbor exercise with red is my only choice here. We have to do good neighbors with red. If they want to break us... Then, then so be it. This six doesn't attack that too. I don't know why I thought that would connect. That's fine. We simply fortify back over to here. We just don't get a bonus this turn. To be fair, red was most likely going to break us next turn if we, anyways, you know, if I was in red's shoes and I'm first in turn order and someone gets a bonus right next to me and I've got the advantage of going first, psh, break them, right? Unless you worry about getting a, a full cinema. Red giving you bad vibes? Sounds like you're trying to avoid them like the plague. Well, the problem is red is first in the turn order. And they have a plus two bonus that they got. They have a plus two bonus, two point hold. And like most of the time, people, when they have uh, their bonus, they, they tend to break yours if it's easy for them to do, which would be very easy for them to do. So unless like because I feel like most players, especially newer players in the game, are bad neighbors. And I, I, I'm not in a position to defend against them. If I was first in the turn order, then I would be able to defend better against them because I would get my troop income before theirs. But I'd be spending my troops to get this. They'd have a toll that could roll through me. They are going slowly, though. 
Not sure if that means a new player or a veteran player. Reading the reading your opponent's strength is actually pretty important. They might be going for this. The fact that I messed this up though and didn't grab that in, in my turn stinks, because that's three turns, three troops next turn I won't have. And I'm gonna be over here trying to like protect myself against red the entire time, which is terrible. Red and I are just gonna be stacking troops against each other. I'm just gonna have to try and do a trust exercise with red and see if they break me or not. I really regret not getting that this that first turn. Can I pivot somewhere else? Blue's already or white's already got two up there. Yeah, man. This is rough for us. On maps like this with a bunch of small bonuses, like you gotta get your bonus your first turn and then not get attacked, but Ooh, a massive blunder at the start, not getting that is gonna be pretty devastating for us. Pretty emotionally harmful. I'm not sure what we're gonna do about that per se. Don't truly, really know. Get it next turn, hope you get away with it. I could go, I could do a pivot and go for North Aegean, one, two. It's also, it's also a three point, it's a three point hole for plus four. It's not that well defended. I gotta protect against two points of red down here, but I'm also protecting against, if I hold this, I'm protecting against one, two points of red because he can come through there, so. Maybe switch to the North Aegean. I'm not sure I can grab it next turn though, because I don't have troops, right? The six is not in the right spot. Now nah, we go for this. And we stack here to begin our turn. We hit this. We fortify everything into one point right here. If he if red wants to break my plus three, well, that's fine. Actually we fortify that two's in the way. We fortify, fortify over there? No. Ow. Oh, it's such a bad start. It's such a bad. Such a bad start. It's such a terrible, awful, horrible bad start, and we made a stake on top of it. This is rough. Okay, Magenta is slowly going through this. They're trying to push a lot of people out of there. They're very- ooh. We could- Oh, they hit my three and lose none! That's incredibly lucky for you and horrible for me, because I was actually thinking about going up there and fighting you for that, because you waste a lot of troops up there, but... Well, that's not gonna happen. Honestly, it's looking grim for us. It's looking grim unless I can kind of, like, I need, I need to hope that red is a good neighbor. I need to hope that red is a good neighbor. That's all I can do. We're going to stack these here. We will hit this like so. Like that. And then we'll fortify this back here. Maybe I can entice red to want to attack this. To make it so this stack has a path out through there to go for North Aegean. More than likely they just hit me right here as like a bad neighbor and break that. That seems to be the probable scenario. What is happening? That's why would you? Why did you put troops here and here? Gonna break me? Oh, not yet. Wait, they don't break me. Oh, they're, oh, yeah, yep. Yeah, there's the break. There's a the break. Yeah, that they split, so they want to break. No, they don't break. Okay, red's a good neighbor. We got lucky. I wish I had grabbed that last turn, because I could have had that, and then this turn be pushing towards that. Okay, so red is a good neighbor. That is uncommon, but I will take it. That's good for both of us. Normally, you don't get these kind of good neighbors early on. That's fine. If Red's gonna be a good neighbor, I can come back from like a really bad starting position and being last in, last in turn order. Bad starting troops everywhere. And I made a mistake not getting this my first turn. Huge underdog to win this. Huge underdog to win this. I don't know how purple in, is, is so insanely low on troops. They are having a bad time. <laughs> hey, Guardian, how you doing? Welcome in. Oh, man, uh... Also, if you're seeing this as a, a YouTube video after the fact, I'm streaming this live on twitch.tv slash cgplayslive. Come hang out sometime. I stream at random hours all throughout the, the day and the night. All right, so purple is getting really messed up. Purple <laughs> is getting rolled. Purple's like a dog in a ball pit. They own everything and get nothing is what they're saying. Yeah, uh, is, is that what they've been doing? I'm so focused on what I need to do that I've been paying attention to what purple and blue have been doing. It's probably been attacking all over the place. All right, so what Red is doing is Red is not worrying about attacking my bonus. And uh, there are folks thinking there. So also, sometimes people don't know when the black player gets a bonus because the colors kind of like, they kind of match. The, like the fact that I have a bonus doesn't pop to their eyes as much as say like magentas or whites does. They're trying desperately to grab Peloponos. No, they're attacking. Are they just mad at blue or somebody? They're just attacking at all the troops. I think that, I think they're gonna probably bot out, maybe? I don't know, I don't know what they're doing. They might bot out on their next turn. 
people that attack out all the troops like that usually don't stick around, right? If Red Knight can have some kind of like unspoken alliance, that'd be good for us. Where would I go for next? I don't want to go for Attica because it blocks your movement this way. I want you to keep moving this way. So we never bother with Attica. I could go for North Aegean. They don't seem to be interested in expanding out to the North Aegean. Oh, but you do. But you do. But you do. Why are you live at night and morning? I, I, my sleep schedule is crazy. And it's constantly rotating around the clock. So, so, you know, like for a couple week period, I'll wake up at like 5 p.m. And a couple weeks, you know, fast for a couple weeks, I'll be waking up at 8 p.m. Fast for a couple weeks, I'll be waking up at like midnight all around the clock and kind of rotates around like that. All right. So you are pushing down to North Aegean. So we can't go for North Aegean. I can't go for this. I don't want to bother with Attica. Um, oh, do I try for Central Greece? I'm not sure I bother with anything. I'm not sure. I think what we do is we stack all these here. I'm going to go ahead and push the white player out of here just in case they're getting funny ideas about coming in through here. And I'm not going to fully trust the red player. And I'm just going to sit here on my plus three. I'm going to defend it a little bit. We got lucky the red player didn't break us one turn, but there's no guarantee that'll last. I mean, it's quite possible they just didn't realize it had it last turn, but now they've noticed or whatever because I got more troops. But I'm just going to chill out here. My little plus three. And I, uh, maybe we fight Magenta for the North Aegean at some point. Maybe we chill out. Eventually, we need to get another bonus. Purple says thanks. What, from, probably not breaking him? He's going for two bonus at the same time. I think this... I think this six right here is not them going for this bonus. This six right here is just because it turns this two point hold into a one point hold right there. Unless this is also going for it, it's hard to say. And this, and they push this down through here. I think they're trying to reduce the number of points they have to hold. But moving this down here. I mean, I, they just had this right here. Yeah, it, yeah, one, two, three point hold on their bonus as opposed to like a one, two. No, it's a three right here. They're trying to slowly expand out, I guess. The white players slowly going for their bonuses. Ah, oh, man. Here's the problem. Everybody's going out. I'm not I'm not getting greedy for bonuses, but we were like in a bad starting position. Like I'm I've got 28 troops. They got 41. We're kind of an underdog right now. What I need to do to come back from this is to steal kills um, like I'm purple. They only have seven troops um, or the bonuses right now. The bonuses are it's not worth even for seven troops. Now we're taking them out. I really wish Magenta wasn't trying to go for this North Aegean because would, this would be my next place to go. Red's going here. They might go here next. I wish... I don't know why the developers decided to make Attica this, this, and this. It's a really weird bonus setup that really just makes it so like... Uh, it's, it's, it's just gross. There's no point ever going for that. Just icky. So purple's car traded on three. Keep, keeps themselves alive a little bit longer. They try to grab their bonus here. They get it. That is a plus four. So far, everybody seems to be pretty good neighbors. I mean, do I try and grab Central Greece? There's no way we hold it. I mean, I can start ex extending out into it. Move this into here. Now that means I have to increase the number of holds I have. I don't want to increase the number of holds I have. I'm not that strong. What do we do here? Yeah, the Attica is gross, though. All right, so... Oh, I mean, I could have tried for like these these plus sixes and plus fives are like good luck holding those, right? How many are you getting? Are you getting five, eight, eleven? The fact that you're getting plus eleven is wild. Nobody's doing anything about it. The white player's just gonna roll like run away with this if nobody's careful. We're all just focused on kind of like cautiously getting our bonuses, and white and red had the best start. Red didn't push aggressively. Red could have pushed out more aggressively to get theirs quicker, but they didn't because they're a newer player, I think. The white player is doing pretty well on theirs. I don't want to be the one to break the white players. I gain nothing from it. Magenta pushes me out of there because they want to eventually hold that. Break the white player. Oh, no. Uh, if, if everybody's good neighbor with the white player, that's a GG for purple and me. Here's a problem. If if when the big players sit back and just be our good neighbors with each other. Ooh, they're they're a bad neighbor to them. OK, that's something. Uh, six for us here. What do we do here? Um. I don't know. I think what we do is we try and... I have a plan here, but it does require Magenta to do what I want them to do. 
Ah, not that I really want to go to war with Magenta. If Magenta hits here, I like I would like the North Aegean, but Magenta's pushing for this as their next bonus and this at the same time. But I want this. Magenta's Magenta's greeting for two bonuses at the same time, which really denies me from going for either. Which is bad for both of us because the white player is sitting here on three. So red goes for their bonus slowly. Purple's just purple and blue just not getting a lot of anything. And Magenta's getting greedy, trying to slowly get two at the same time, which prevents you from getting more troops by having two for a while. It prevents me from getting a second, just pushes the white player farther and farther than its lead. The Magenta's player Magenta's obsession with going for North Aegean prevents me from getting strong, but it also prevents you from getting strong. And the white player's doing great. And there's a reason they've got 41 troops to your 39, and that's gonna be even more after the next round passes. And it's gonna be even more. If you hit this and I slam you. So yeah, that's not that's not super great. 16 troops for the white player. Hi from YouTube. Hope everyone's we can start on phone. Hey, Trent, how you doing? Welcome, welcome. Welcome in, how you doing? Eight troops for the white player. What are you gonna do? Card trade on four. You must be trying to do an elimination, or maybe you're a new player who doesn't realize that it's uh uh, that it's that's progressive because even a new player can will slowly expand their bonuses and pro try to protect their borders sometimes they just get really strong because nobody can test it for them they get a good start attacking magenta i like it i'm just gonna go for another bonus was well you just, you just go you're, you're defending up you're fortifying up trying to protect your borders what if you're a newer player just a veteran player being more cautious that's the question a trade on four from the blue player, trying to ensure that they stay alive. That's a good thing to do. Do I trade on four? Do I feel particularly vulnerable to limit? Oh, blue, please don't break my six. Please don't break my six. If we do, that's a GG for us. Blue decides they want to hit my six. No. They attack one troop there. Okay, they just wanted a card. And they want one big strong stack. To They're lining up for the elimination on purple. They want a big army ready to eliminate purple when the time comes. Okay. Try and get cards off of purple. It makes sense then. Recenter the map, because I like to. Hmm. Are you, are you botting out? Because Magenta broke you last turn. Probably. If you're taking this long to draft, you're probably botting out. No? Maybe they're pooping. They just got back. Hit the two. Get your bonus back. I seriously doubt you're going to get to hold this. Red's probably going to go through here. Blue fix and eliminate you. Magento seems to want to break you back there. It I've noticed in the game. Ooh, why are you all oh, you trying to push Magenta away from you? Honestly, if you actually if you had had better luck on the dice and won that, would have been a good strategy to get Magenta away from you, because they're the one they're the one that broke you last turn, right? Getting Magenta away from you would have been good for you. Nine troops for Magenta. If they try to grab North G in this turn. I have uh, 11 goes through, plus my 6 next turn, 17 that go through, hit you. That is the thing. Alright, so we're, we're staying in this. We're very low on troops because we ha haven't had a lot of bonuses here, unfortunately. Fraction of the bonuses of everybody else, but... Even if I, even if I, I mean, if I had grabbed that properly the first turn and got lucky with Red not breaking me, I could have pushed into North Aegean better, and that would have encouraged you to not go for it, so... That one blunder I made at the start is probably... Oh, seems dearly here. We'll try and come back for Yes, you freed my stack, you fool. Red card skip last turn, FYI. Good, no, thank you. Probably want to stack their boards a bit. Plus six for us. Do I card trade here? Mmm. Magenta. If I break Magenta seven, I don't think I want to pop Magenta right now when they have a card trade. Wait till after their card trade to antagonize them. Instead, I will stack... Oh, I don't want to free that 12 to go towards me. I need a card somewhere. I get it. I, you know, I guess that 12 stack is just going to have a free path down towards me. Not that I want to free it. But I uh, I need a, a 1 to hit somewhere. I don't want to waste too many troops here. Lost one, unfortunately. I, the reason I didn't uh, hit Magenta here into North Aegean yet is because they have a card trade on 5. So, th if I hit them, and then hit their 7, and try and grab this or break them, um, they could get really mad, card trade, and just go back and wreak havoc on me. 
So what I want to do, also, I mean, if Red's about to go in for it, then all the more reason not to, right? So I'll just, I'll just sit back, get a card, maybe a Red. Red's got to attack somebody for a card. Either they break me for a card, they break Purple for a card. Actually, not, actually that, that doesn't break him if they attack right there. Ooh, the 15, we get broken right here. They stacked 15 right there. They're about to break us, right? They're about to break us, right? That'd be dangerous for them to do, because I have five cards. I could hit them back. Okay, there's going to card from Attica. That's That makes sense. No extra points to hold there. Ooh, attacking again. Interesting. Have they realized that the white player is a threat on the board? They want to go break them? Are they going... You're not going for another bonus if they're in the Ionian Islands, right? No, you fortify back. I don't know why you did that extra attack. That's just a glitch there. It's not their turn anymore. I don't know why they did that extra attack and fortify back. I'm starting to think the red might be like a newer player. Unnecessary attack there, very slow there. Ooh, that 27. Do you eliminate me right here with that 27 stack? Oh. I or no, you're coming down to break purple. Coming down to break purple? Eliminate blue? What are you doing? You're coming down to you're coming down to you're you're killing purple for two cards. You're killing purple for two cards. Good game. I was debating whether or not to say good game well played or not. If I, sometimes you do that, it kind of shows people that you're a more experienced player. I don't want these guys knowing they're more experienced. Okay, you eliminate purple for two cards. I don't think that was worth eliminating a player for two for only two cards. And the cards are worth it's a 12 traded. I don't think that was a really worthwhile trade. Um it does give you their two cards and eliminate them. Wait, where's the defeated thing? Oh, it's sorry, it popped up and I was like clicking things. Okay. Purple has been taken up by the white player. The question is, does anybody break the white player? Is anybody get, is are there any bad neighbor types around here? It seems like we have a lot of good neighbor types, which is why I'm still alive. <laughs> Red could have broken me earlier. I wouldn't be able to do much about it. And they could I could have like like 15 less troops right now. All right, so blue intentionally does not break the white player, even though they could have. Blue is being a good neighbor to the white player. Just good for them. Bad for the rest of us. Um. It's good for the two of them. We need somebody needs to somebody needs to start a fight with White here. Nobody seems inclined. I mean, understandably so. They've got 72 troops and a card trade on five, so not exactly great. It wouldn't exactly be a great time to break them. Somebody eventually needs to do it though. But the problem is, it's a death sentence to whoever who do, whoever does. It's basically a death sentence. I mean, unless you have like a strong defense. Like I feel like the red player is the best one to do it. They've got a one, two, three point hold here. If they fortify this over here and do a trust exercise, then they have effectively a two-point hold here. They finally claim their bonus. Here's the thing. I'm the low, I'm the low man on the totem pole. And if I, I, I ooh, they're trying to grab another bonus as well here. The problem with sitting back, letting these guys hold all their bonuses when the small guy is these like First, second, third place are happy to sit back, hold their bonuses, and just like wait for the their troop advantage to get higher and higher, and for them to like take out us little guys. I need to get elimination of somebody to like catch up here. Oh, what's the if I could take out you for three, get another card trade for twenty. Uh, I could take out blue. I could take out blue for cards. Hope for the best. Is that worth it for me? Uh, is it worth for? I'm, I'm going to try to do it not this turn, but in a future turn. I think. Not yet. Not yet. They're not going to take me out right now. I'm going to hit this right here. And then we just kind of call that good. Keep these vaguely fortified, discouraged, getting attacked a little bit. A card trade means I probably won't get eliminated this turn with my 53. And hopefully blue doesn't have a card trade on three. I'll go for next turn. I didn't want to go for it this turn because I didn't really feel the numbers would add up in a very beneficial way. I would get a trade in for 20 troops. So but for taking out, what, 25 troops, I get 20 back. I probably lose about 20. I kind of break even, and then I'm the smallest guy on the board that these three guys are going to fix and eliminate. So I think what we need to do is let things simplify on the board a bit. Uh, on the board a bit. Maybe somebody hits that four stack of theirs. No, I feel like red, magenta, uh, red, magenta, and white are all very good neighbor to one another. Nobody wants to fight or break one another. They just want to sit back, get their bonuses, be good neighbors, and get more and more of a troop advantage on myself and, you know, blue and purple back when they were alive. And then use that to uh, then take us out and then use the bonuses to try and chain kills. And it's working out very well for them. 
Yo, yo, Mr. North, how's the stream going? Hey, CG Plays number one fan, how you doing? What's happening? Welcome in, welcome in. All right, they're going for the blue elimination, and they're going to get it. All right, which is unfortunate. I mean, this is kind of how, I mean, the fact that I had a really bad start, and I made a mistake not claiming this on my, on my first turn, because I, I thought this connected here when it clearly doesn't. I mean, it, it's it's water. What? <laughs> Logically speaking, it's water. I can boat from here to here, but I can't boat from here to here. Where, where's the logic in that, right? All right, so that's, I think that's, it's looking pretty bad. I feel like red and magenta at some point needed to break the white player, because look at how they're running away with it. Like they're just, they're, they're, it's insane how they're running away with it. And unless magenta or red do something to take out the white player or get a kill themselves, the white player's just gonna, roll through it. White's not a completely new player. They've gone for two kills now, so they're not a total noob. They're, they've got some experience there. That 10, I imagine they're just going to hit that 5 and like keep being good neighbors. And the fact that nobody ever once the entire match tried to break white at all, is just going to get them to win. Oh, they stacked 8 back there? Did you become a bot? You're, you're, okay, so they're just very, very new. You going to break white at all? They're thinking about it. Oh, that's it. That's it. That's going to be a GG. At this point, I'm rooting for the white player. The fact that red and magenta did nothing ever to break them. <laughs> like at this point, I'm rooting for him. Can I get a kill here? I got uh, three cards. We don't have a card trade. Um, if they have a card trade in three, they just take me out next turn. What do we do? We hit this here. That frees the nine. We hit this here. Breaks a bonus. And they had nothing to really counteract it with. So I'm just going to break this one bonus just to get a card, and because it makes it not super easy for you guys to, like, retaliate. That breaks one bonus, and maybe if I break the bonus on white, maybe magenta and red will also get involved. If I'm not sure how much uh, magenta and red are paying attention to this over here, seeing they've got 120. Card trade from red. Are we about to get eliminated by red? I'm not sure they can. They got 15 here, 19 here. That 19's pinned. Can't attack out with that. That 12. Yeah, they can't eliminate me here. Unless they get, like, insanely good dice, right? They're waiting for the bear to come maul them, yeah. It's one of these things where, like, sometimes your better move can just be like, alright, we'll let them get big and, you know, get the kills or whatever, but eventually you gotta do something, right? They gotta do something, I mean, ooh, here's a problem. This guy's the only chance to get a card. Oh, and they get a card, yeah, yeah. Honestly, just hit here to get a card and fortify back. I don't know why Red's doing this, they need to... They need to stop, stop splitting their army word. I mean, the fact that they're a noob is the only reason I'm still in this. They could have bodied me early. Bro, you gotta hit him. It's, it just attack him. There you go. It's, it's, <laughs> finally. So, finally. I, red, red is so new. I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, 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 they're so new. They're so new. Oh, they're so, so new. Okay, so red is extremely new to the game. Oh, this is good news. White's gonna break magenta. I think white's... White's got to be at least an intermediate, I think I would guess. Red's probably a, a beginner or novice. They take their turns very slowly. Oh, this is good. This is good. It's all falling apart. This is our chance to sit back and kind of like recover. I broke white and then red broke white. I think white breaking magenta here was extremely foolish. Unless, yeah, they can't eliminate them this turn. I think that was a huge mistake. They probably have a card trade in four. It's like an, almost an 80% chance, roughly, to get a card trade in four. Depends on the map. Um... So the fact that they've antagonized... So, I broke the white player. Red broke the white player. Magenta was the one that did not break them. So, okay, so white's got to be intermediate at best if they're picking a fight with a player that never broke them. They they just picked a fight with a player that never broke them. This is where this is where it all falls apart, and I sit back and build up cautiously, and then I clean up when it's time to get a kill. And wouldn't match that I never should even... I shouldn't even been alive. I should have been gone already. Some players are pretending to be novice. I mean, it's possible. Some people could do that. Magenta. This is fantastic. They lost... Tw losing 20 on the offensive is very unlucky. Normally, you lose less than the defenders when you're attacking, unless it's capitals and they're on a cap. That's good, though. Do damage to each other. That's fantastic. I have no idea why they're stacking this back here. I guess they're worth... They're worried about white slamming here and breaking that way. Not gonna break them all the way. And magenta still not breaking white. Still not breaking white. And now they're fortifying back there, worrying white will break through me like that. I'm not going to break them this way, right? Magenta, red, both fairy. I think these are all, all three of these are like fairly new players. 
If you car trade and I don't, can you take me out? That's my concern. 61. Car trade is 40. Oh, you definitely can. Yeah, if we didn't car trade and they car trade and go for me, they'd probably take me out. So we are going... Oh, I'm actually... This this 41 stack is trapped or can't attack out into white. That's not great for us, per se. Um... And white's intentionally not going to attack it back, but I still want to have a big army here. So let's put... Oh, uh, let's put these here. The rest here. If I antagonize white a bit and break him again. Break him again. They're free that six to go in and hit magenta or something. Or, you know, kind of signal towards red and magenta that, hey, hey, look, I broke one of their bonuses. What I really want is white to take these back. This one specifically. That way this has an option to go into them if I need to for elimination. Because right now my only, the only thing this is pointing at right now is you. Honestly, at this point, I should stop worrying about holding my pl measly plus three bonus. And I should worry about getting all my troops into one big stack, positioned somewhere where I can go out in any direction I want to claim a bonus. Ooh, is that, is that was that a bonus you already claimed? Oh yes, Red's breaking your bonuses. That's fantastic. Are you all you're also players, right? Yeah, nobody's bought it out. Nobody bought it out. Okay, Red is breaking the white player a lot. This is fantastic. And we're evening out on troops here. I'm actually ahead of Magenta all of a sudden because they went to war with the white player. Red is also attacking the white player a bunch, so it's working. My my little pokies here and there breaking the white player have uh, kind of encouraged the other players to get involved in it. And I think Red has done the most damage to them, so if white wants to self-destruct, hopefully they go for red and not me. <laughs> if they self-destruct on me, like, eh, I mean, a car trade and then... 45 here slaps my 85 does a lot of damage to me uh, 71 stack oh yes yes this is it this is how we come back to win they're going for magenta again this is wild this is wild that even though red like twice now magenta has done nothing to antagonize the white player oh, this is the the what what goes through people's minds when they play this game i'll never understand i'll never understand the, the stretch. Oh, are they going for elimination? Maybe that's it. Well, no, you don't have the path. That nine's not going to beat that eight. You're just going to feed the kill to me. You're just, you, 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 fell, you fed the magenta kill to me. They take a card. They have three. I eliminate them. And that gives me another card trade. And then we're in a 1v1v1 situation where I've got the most troops. Magenta probably bots out now because they got like nothing left. Okay. So what do I do here? This 85 clearly hits this, hits this, takes them out. I even, I actually even attack it right here and have it sit right there so it's not like offensive on your border. Or do I? I mean, what are you gonna do about it? Probably, yeah, I mean, nothing, right? Um, and then I stack troops over here. How many troops do I get in it? The, oh, here's the problem, I only get six. I can't like stack six here and take all that out. I have to stack six here, hit this, hit this, hit this, hit this, hit this. Um. I guess go through this, 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 um, this, split here, this, this, oh, I could go through here, no, that's in the way, yeah, um, yeah, they bought out because, um, yeah, we get their elimination and take out some white's territories, I guess, I'll have to be, have to be fine, and I'll start worrying about fortifying all my stuff to one thing, because red's gonna break us here for sure, I don't mind if red breaks us here after we do this, it's worth it to get the elimination, I don't know why the white player's going for magenta so much. We're just going to go ahead and do all this. And uh, I don't actually want to claim a bunch of these bonuses here because it kind of paints a target on my back, but I'm going to anyways just to make future eliminations possibly simpler and easier for us here. Let's go ahead and hit that. We hit this. We hit you. We only leave three. That we don't do a weird split. And we hit this over here. Take out the player who left me became a bot. Oh, you only get two cards. Bummer, because the bot... Oh, I didn't think about that. The bot didn't take a card. It'd be better for me if they hadn't botted out. That's actually a problem. Oh, wait, never mind. We're fine. You only have two cards. You only have two cards, which means neither of you can card trade and take me out. If they card traded... Which they can't, because they only have two and two. If they had card traded for a 50 uh, turn in and stacked it right there, that could have been 69 with good dice could have rolled through and eliminated me, all my troops on the board. Six, I mean, it would take really good dice. I've got 87 troops, but... Oh, wait, oh, plus this combined, yeah. Yeah, I knew Red's gonna come through and break me here. Red doesn't like other people having bonuses. 
Why hitting Magenta back to back if they didn't break them? Once is mind boggling. I know, right? And after Red's breaking them. So Red doesn't like other players having bonuses and they play very slowly and very cautiously. Ooh, and they're they're fortifying back there. They're, are they fixing to line up to eliminate me? What are you doing? Are you trying to get one big stack? No, they're still splitting into multiple stacks. They're still trying to fend. Red is probably a novice or a beginner, I've had to guess. White, beginner, or intermediate, perhaps? The white player is trying to reclaim their bonuses. Beginner, intermediate at best, I'd say. I think we're in a match with a lot of novices and beginners. Maybe there's an intermediate snuck in there somewhere. And I, myself, the... If I actually play well and play to win and don't, like, throw for content, I'm usually right around the expert rank. There's also the master and grandmaster above me. I'm not that great. I'm like, okay at the game. It's better. The attack can break my bonuses. That's fine. It's progressive. We're at the point in the game where bonuses not really that important. It's about positioning yourself to, like, eliminate players. And get all your troops into one big juicy stack. Now, we card trade for 50. Gives us a, a stack of 104 right here. We could take out red or white with good dice. But that would leave us with fo so few troops that it really wouldn't be super duper worth it for us just yet. What I need is for them to fight each other a little bit more, hopefully. Let's trade in the cavalry here and do this. And we'll sack everything right here. I don't care about claiming these bonuses back. That is not important. What is important to me is to not lose too many troops right there, the slider. And I'm actually going to begin uh, anything other. These are all ones, 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 ones. Get this six over to here. Red wants to break me. Let them, I don't care about a plus three bonus when the card trades are worth like 55 plus now. Traveler430, hello, how you doing? Finally caught a stream, even though you're in the metro. Hey, welcome to the stream, how you doing? What's happening? We're just chilling and vibing here. And now what's Red going to do? Red got their trade here, but it's, they're certainly not going to hit my 119 stack, right? I don't care about bonuses right now. I care about sitting back trying to minimize my troop losses, let these guys break each other a bunch. Now, if they all of a sudden start getting along and don't break each other's bonuses at all, ever, well, then I may need to be a little more proactive breaking their bonuses, but I don't want to antagonize either one of them too much. Yeah, the red player's stacking. Yeah, the red player's starting. All right. Red player's starting to wake up. The red player's starting to wake up. They're starting to fortify one big stack right here. That's scary. At least they still have this. I think the red player's Maybe they're a little better than a, a novice. Maybe they're actually our intermediate level, maybe. Because they're starting to they're starting to line up one big stack for elimination, and they're lining it up on me. They're lining it up on me. That's not great for me. And they didn't come up here to break white over here either. We want to and the white player's also getting one big stack right here as well. Of course, theirs is trapped. Um I need uh, I could go I need to break you. I could go here, 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 here. That breaks this. <sighs> breaks you a little bit. Um, but I don't really want to antagonize. I'm still actually kind of low on troops, but I'm ahead on the cards for a bit here. Do a little bit of this. And we're going to chill out. Red and white are also starting to get one big stack. So I think... Yeah, we did... Oh, what am I calling you a beginner novice for? I saw you, like, eliminate two players early on. You're at least... You gotta be an intermediate. You, hard to tell. Beginner? Intermediate? Novice? I don't know. Hard to say. What's up, Ninja Stealth? Ninja Stealthy? How you doing? Welcome stream. I don't know why I can't talk today, but I can't talk today. I've got 144 troops. I'm still low on troops. I still need these guys to actually fight each other. You've, like, they they stacked everything right there where I can't do anything. They've got to be, like, Red's got to be a novice or a beginner. Like, why would an intermediate stack right there uh, still protecting their bonuses at this point, right? Maybe I'm overestimating intermediates? Why am I so focused on trying to figure out what rank they are? <laughs> I should need to be focusing on the strategy here. I'm not worried about breaking red. Um, I don't want to actually, like, I don't want to hit a 30 stack on somebody until it's time to eliminate them. The nice thing about them stacking 30 here and 30 here and 97 here is they're in no position to eliminate me. My biggest concern is the white player snagging too many bonuses here. I don't want that to happen. They accidentally trapped their 16 there. I think they were trying to grab this, but they screwed up and trapped those right there. Do I card trade here? 65. Um, they're not going to eliminate me next turn. I mean, I'm most likely going to trade before them anyways. Oh. I don't... Th do I go through... And, I think we do go through and break you, honestly. Um, 
it will antagonize you a bit, but every time I've attacked, uh, every time I've broken the white player in the past, the red player has, like, also followed up and broken it as well. So let's go ahead and break you. And I'm just going to leave him sitting there. That way you don't even bother trying to, like, grab that back. Now maybe the red player will also want to attack you? What I don't want is for the white player to spread out across the board and grab, like, have these two and then grab this. I want to reduce... If you're if the white player is going to have one big juicy stack primed for elimination, if I ever freed or they ever fortified away, I don't want them getting lots of bonus to f bonuses to feed into that. Not at all, not at all. Next turn I can card trade stack here, hit this, hit this, hit this to break your other bonus and then fortify it all back. And that way you don't have um an extra bonus. You know, stop your troop income a little bit, stop you getting more troops than me. And uh, let red continue to like... Red still hasn't broken this bonus of ours, by the way, which is wild. It's crazy. You guys are still here, right? Still players? You are. Okay, interesting, interesting. Thank you for freeing that to have a path out. Thank you. They're trying to attack out a bunch so they have more territories. And as long as they don't... F I just don't need to... I need to keep this away from that. But if they fortify this over there, then it just has a, a, a path on me, right? Oh, you're gonna fortify... Oh, you fortify that. Ooh... They have, they love having their thing pinned. That's great. We car trade right here for 65. That's huge value. Keep blocking their stack in. I don't know why this guy's so obsessed with blocking their stack in, but that's great. Um, 214. I could take out one of the players with this, but it's it's not worth it. Because I'm then very vulnerable to the next player. So let's go ahead and keep breaking your bonuses here. And I'm actually going to do something wild. And I'll even try and grab one for myself. Why not, you know? And we'll chill with that and vibe for a bit. They keep blocking their stack. That's good. I need to like we, I need to like level the board a little bit. These guys, if they card and trade, if they card trade on three here, both of them, yeah, like two sixty eight to my two twelve. Um, I mean, red sitting back and letting two of us fight, attack each other is good, unless white and I can come to some kind of terms where like I get a few bonuses and I kind of catch up, right? Like eventually. If these guys want to get cards, like, they need to start... Like, they'll have to fight each other a little bit eventually, right? No, nah, I mean, White Knight can just keep attacking each other a bunch, and Red can just keep slowly getting cards. How do we progress this? Like, eventually... Eventually, we just have to go for and attack and attack somebody, right? Okay, okay, that's what we want to see. That's what we want to see. Red player attacking the White player's territories. That's good. We've been kind of, like... Just sort of working along with Red the entire match. Just had this, uh, like, unspoken alliance that I keep forgetting about half the time. That's fine. That 42 stack is completely traps. The way Red's playing, they're in no threat to eliminate me, right? Maybe? I'm just trying to figure out how do we, how do we progress this? Because Red has no interest in being the one progressing the game. They just don't. Red just does not care to progress the game. So I need to, like shoo them into corners of the board where they're going to be, like, touching each other more, right? Oh my goodness! What is this? That's wild. That's wild. They're they're lining themselves up to fight Red. That's insane. I'm, like, shocked. I'm, like, shocked. You know what I'm going to do this turn? Only attack a single territory. And then chill. I'm not going to break white this turn. You know why? I'm not going to break white this turn because they've showed to me that they're fixing to go for red and not me. And since they're showing that they want to go for red and not me, I, I'm going to do everything I can to like fly under their radar and let them. There's a decent chance that like even though I've been the one who's most recently been like messing up uh, the white player, breaking their bones and stuff. Red was the one that did the most damage earlier. Like I was the first one to break their bonus right here. Remember that all the way back in the day. I broke them once, but then the very next, then Red went like right after I did, and then broke like one or two, and then later on I broke one, then Red broke like one or two, so in the early part of the game, Red did the most to like damage them, and the way a lot of players' minds will work is that, oh yes, please fortify more of your troops back there to trap yourselves. So a way a lot of players' minds work is the first person that ang like angers them enough, they stay forever angry at that person, even if other people just uh, like pile on. But you gotta be careful, because sometimes it can switch. But, oh, but they stacked 89 right here. Oh, they're gonna go in this way! I don't know why... I don't know. I guess we did... 
I mean, I feel like I feel like if White was mad at us and wanted to hit us, it would be completely understandable. Oh, they're not going to slam them. They're just trying to push them out of this region. Interesting. Okay, okay. So they're not trying to. So they're not trying to go to war with Red. Okay. I mean, that makes a little bit more sense. Like, I break them for like four turns in a row, then they go slam red. That wouldn't make more sense. I guess they're just trying to keep this. I guess they're trying to keep the stack away from me. I don't know what's going on here. I don't even. I don't even know what. I don't know what to do with this. But this is good. It's. I'm, we're beginning to posture them where like they might break each other. Uh, would you card I don't feel like card trading for it's even necessary. There's no need. Um, I don't really want you having all these bonuses though. I'll tell you that much right now. Um, so, I'm gonna keep being very aggressive towards you, because I don't want you having so many more bonuses than me. That would be bad. And, uh, keep smooshing my way through the board here a little bit. I mean, I mean, why not just go ahead and act like I'm just trying to grab some bonuses? And, do I break you right now? Maybe I don't break you right now. Maybe I don't break you? And maybe in White's mind, oh, this guy just wants to grab bonuses up here, and he left my bonuses alone over here. You know, maybe that, maybe that's, maybe they'll chill. Maybe they'll vibe with that. If 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 White goes through and breaks my bonuses next from over here, it's fine. It's whatever. You know. I'm just trying. Like at this point, we need we need things to happen other than me slowly working on White while Red builds up over in the corner there. That's what we don't really want to have happen. Or maybe we do. Maybe that's exactly, exactly what we want. Okay, Red's finally deciding to come out here. They want, they're want they gonna go through me for the card. Oh wait, I didn't realize. Red broke my plus three bonus last turn. I didn't realize. I see, I see. Maybe White's trying to... I don't know, I, I can't read what they're trying to do. It's, it's, it's quite possible that these other players themselves barely know what they're doing. <laughs> that's a distinct possibility. And they oh what did they what did he do? They attacked here, left 45 and sacked 107 over there. So that 107 so that that's just okay, so they are gonna come through and break me. That's fine. I'll just go back through and break all that you took from me and break all this. That's fine. Alright, so we we don't have I was wondering if I could maybe like by not breaking them and by holding this, I could kind of form some kind of like ease some unspoken truce with the white player. That's not gonna happen. Which completely understandable. I don't I wouldn't I would Maybe like a, a an expert or a master grandmaster would have like saw that I didn't break them here and be like, oh maybe I can have a truce with this guy and calm down the war between us. But from like a newer player, who I imagine this guy's maybe intermediate or so, I wouldn't expect that, right? Alright, but now we're gonna go ahead and our next turn, uh, we're gonna go through and slam everything they got there. Force trade on five for us here. I think we'll trade the little horsies. And well, we're just gonna go ahead and uh Take my big juicy stack over here, and we're gonna go ahead and do some damage. Break that bonus. Break this bonus. Uh, oh, no. Go down to here. And break a bunch of these. Let's go ahead and deal a bunch of damage over here. Whoops. Pin myself. Oh well. And fortify this over to... I guess... Ooh, where do I want this at? Here gives me a path towards either of you. Put it right there. Alright, so... We're doing okay now. 295, they're 282, but they're ahead of me in the card trades is the problem. And also, nobody seems to be wanting to take moves to, like, progress the game as far as, like, hitting meaningful stacks the other player. White and I are self-destructing. My biggest concern is I antagonize the white player so much that they just slam their 225 onto my 264 stack. In fact, positioning here could be bad, because they could easily bam, 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 slam my stack, and then Red just cleans up and wins. So another, something I should be paying attention in the future is trying to position my 264 stack somewhere where you can't reach it so easily, which is... me nestling it away from your own... I don't think there is a path I can pin it somewhere. Oh, fortified away! Red has got one big stack over there, one big pinned stack. Okay. I don't like how Red's been sitting back, letting us all fight each other constantly. I can go through and break other bonuses here. And um, maybe that gets them... I, I liked it better when Red was splitting their stacks. They weren't a threat. 
This is a threat. If white comes through and breaks them and fortifies away, red's got a path. White seems to be focused on trying to expand a bunch, and red seems to be focusing on hanging back and letting us fight each other. Here's a problem. I, 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 I need to get red involved in this fight. I need red and white to fight each other, not me fighting white while nothing happens over here. So we're going to stack everything right here. Let's get some more people involved in this situation. Hit a little bit of this, a little bit of this. Hit this just to clean up where you're at on the board, I guess. In case we decide to eliminate you in the future. Break this. We break this, we keep your traps, your stuff pinned. Don't want to fortify so easily. Let me fortify this over to... Hmm... Here gives me paths. Here gives me paths. Now if the white player sees me breaking red a bit, maybe they, uh... I don't know. I, 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 I need this to be more than just me being the only one trying to progress the game. Red has no interest in progressing the game. They just want to turtle up and hope that the two of us destroy each other. White is obsessed with trying to grab and hold bonuses, even though we're at the end game where that's just not going to happen. Red's grabbing this back. I need to somehow get them to fight each other in some way, shape, or form. Get them to do something or anything to try and progress the game. I'm trying to progress the game a lot by breaking bonuses. White also is kind of trying to progress the game by like breaking my bonus against their own. We gotta get we gotta get red involved in this. If this is a 1v1 with me and white, then I, we just duke it out. But I can't go to war with white while red's just sitting. If this is progress the progressive capitals, I just sit back in capitals. White, I need you to do something against red. Stop just trying to grab your bonuses back over and over again. I can't let you hold these bonuses. I need to catch up on troops here. I don't I don't bother trying to hold bonuses myself, they won't let me. Part trading forks, I want to make sure we got to the troops here. Um, we'll stack these here. I'll make sure to break you, Red. I'm not letting you hold bonuses. Get involved in this or go home. I will tell you. And let's have these over to here. Let's have this hit you. There we go. And we're going to go ahead and start doing some work over here. Just as much of your stuff as I can. All the damage to you. Stop trying to hold bonuses. I need to get it through the white player's head that I'm just not going to let them hold bonuses. I need them to give up on holding bonuses and do something other than what they've been doing. I need this to not be your game plan. No, there shall be no bonus holding for you, sir. Stop trying to hold bonuses. Make sure to keep your 234 pinned over there. Or has to go through red to reach me. I have got to get them to attack each other in some way, shape, or form. I have got to get you attacking each other. I've got to make sure you guys are only getting like three troops per turn or whatever. Something. Something. And I do think I can take my actions a little bit quicker. I think maybe we just like every turn we try to wipe out as many of White's territories as possible. If they want to stack on one stack. Okay, you don't get bonuses, right? I need... Yes, attack the White player. This is what we need. This is what we need. Red giving up on holding this bonus down there and instead getting involved. Unless, oh, unless you're coming in to slam me. Oh, you're coming in to slam me, aren't you? You are... No? You're not coming in to slam me. You're going up to break my bonuses. I will take this. I, like, get involved. You're trying to take that back, like, the long way around. Really? <laughs> Alright. I'll take it. I mean, that's better than you stacking here and grabbing. I, I, I want to see you get involved. That's good. I want to see you do something other than just, like, can't... Oh, and they're stacking back here. And they're trapped... Okay, so you're... You're no threat to me. You're trapped right back there. You do have more troops than I do. And you're ahead on cards, because I traded before you. And so Red's giving up on holding their bonuses. Instead, they just want to have one big stack right to uh, eliminate. That's what their plan is there. And it's, it's honestly going to work. White just cannot get it through their head that, like, I'm not going to let them hold bonuses. They just keep wasting their troops fighting me. I can't get White to, to stop trying to fight me over here. We're wasting all our troops on each other. Red's sitting back on their 342 stack. You just tuck yourself in a corner if White wants to hold 14 different bonuses. Having one big stack incentivizes him to use those troops in red. Who else seems to hold joint bonuses? Yeah, I could just, sw like, swap my... Like, clearly breaking White's not working. They are obsessed with holding bonuses. So I could just sit... The problem, like, with that strategy, though, is, like, if I sit back... What'll happen if I sit back and do nothing? 
white will grab half the bonuses, red will grab half the bonuses, they'll, and then like 10 rounds later, they have more troops than me, and one of them attacks me and takes me out. That's the problem. It's that, maybe that's, that's why that won't actually work. I will make sure to break you down here. No bonuses for you. And then the rest of these will be over to here. I need to take advantage of the fact that these guys aren't very quick. I, they seem fairly patient. They don't seem the tilt and self-destruct, like the, sil the, the tilt and self-destructing you players, so. Let's we'll just go ahead and do a lot of damage around here. Push through a bunch of territories. And, I mean, make sure these guys are only getting like three troops per turn. You know, the fact that I can attack a lot quicker than they are is actually pretty useful. Keep going, keep going. Come on, all the attacks, all the attacks. There we go. And, not attack as fast as I could. I need to do like the triple spam attack. There we go. Make sure to do some damage here. And hit this, and fortify this over to, I'm running out of time, right here. There we go, only eight territories, only th that'll be only three troops for you. And white will only start with three troops. You guys can car trade and whatever, but... I'm, I'm just gonna have to, I'm just gonna have to play the game hoping that they're not gonna, f the, f the full send is self-destruct. That's all we can do here. And... They don't seem to take their turns very quickly. They're not very good about going across the board. I mean, I could be going fast myself. I wasn't going as fast as I could there. And maybe I get lucky and manage to hold a couple bonuses. Because unless white has a card trade on three, they can't break too many bonuses. Actually, this 73 could go through and break a bunch, right? But they are like, this This. This might as well be trapped. They, ref they refuse to attack with that. Yeah, they got card trade on three. It's fine. They're up to 420 troops. I'm falling way behind on troops here, actually. Um, but we do what we gotta do. Red moved the big stack. They did move the big stack, and they moved it right next to mine. Oh, we have... We have angered Red. We have angered Red. Red is ready to full send on me. I've been doing everything in my power to progress this game, and it has made me the villain of the two of them. Unfortunately, to make good content, you have to... <laughs> you can't just sit... Like, I could try, I could have tried to play like Red, sit back, hold a couple bonuses, and just spend half an hour, wait till one of them to self-destruct on each other, but like... That's that's so boring. We gotta try and progress things. I mean, I could. I mean, if Red's gonna, that's Red signaling that he wants to self destruct on me next turn. So we take two. We have two options. Do I have a card trade in three? I don't. I've had a card trade in three. I would stack it here and eliminate Red and fight White for uh, the position. Red doesn't understand that I'm doing so much to progress the game. Like Red, should, like okay, I've broke a few of their bonuses. Red should be like, ah, eh, no big deal, whatever. I'm just keep doing this. I'm gonna just cross my fingers, hope they don't uh, slam on me. They probably are going to though, or maybe they're not gonna slam on me. They just want to make sure I don't hold bonuses. I don't know. All right, we'll hang it out right here, and let's hope that that 340 stack is intended for. Oh, they're gonna card trace. I think we get eliminated here. I think we've been doing so much trying to fight the white player. I mean, remember we were in third uh, because we're behind the card order for a while there. I think red eliminates us here, and then white should be able to beat them in 1v1. Because I think red and white, like, mechanically-wise and strategy-wise, are fairly not too far apart. No, he's just going to try and reclaim his bonuses? I don't know. I, I need to get... I, I don't... I can't get inside your heads. That's the problem. Like, we have a three-way stalemate here. I'm doing everything in my power to progress it. But red just... Red is, like, in their mind, this is Australia on Classic Fixed. And they have the no-Australia, no-win mentality. They just want to hold their Australia and then do nothing else. That's all they want. Well, I'm over here desperately trying to advance the game. They will attack me, though. Okay, that's good. I mean, uh, yes. Attack my territories. Break me. Get involved. Do something other than turtle in the corner while White and I just sit here trading back and forth forever. Get involved. Get involved. Thank you. Do something. Problem is, white and red just refuse to ever attack each other. And it's forcing me to do everything. I can't get... Yes! Uh, uh, yeah, user 237 attack. Yes, attack red! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Somebody other than me progressing the game! Thank you! Thank you, white! Thank you! Finally! Finally, somebody doing something to pro progress the game other than me! Thank you so much! Thank you, finally. All right, I'll chill out with white. They, I think it's because red's got this 340 stack, and they're like, ooh, this 340 stack is scary. Okay, there we go. There we go. White's realized I'm just going to keep breaking them forever. 
They still are oh, fixing to aim for me. Don't worry, I'm not worried about that. I'll start working on red now. All right. Maybe now I can kind of like get some kind of thing going over here with them. Do I have a card trade? Should I have a card trade? I don't even know if I had a card trade or not. Let's go ahead and... Yes. Now white and I can gang up on red because we're both sick of them sitting back turtling up while we're doing all the fighting. There we go. And I won't attack white this turn. And maybe white and I de-escalate tensions and work together against the red player. And uh, see if we can get something going there. <laughs> get mad, get angry. <laughs> they say in chat. There we go. Red's gonna go through and break some of my bonuses. There we go. Get involved. Good, good, good. Their 342 is trapped right there. Now maybe the white player and I can do what the red players. Ooh, the red player is fixing to full send me. Look at that big old. Do we just try and take out red and go for? Do we just try to take out red and get a um and and get a uh, second place here to white? Or take out red and maybe white's really bad at the micro game and we beat them? All right, the white player is going for their bonus over there, so they don't seem fully inclined. All right, so he's there. There's again. Again, with back to getting bonuses. Oh, I get, or maybe they saw that they, they can't even create their bonuses correctly. They're new. They're, these are new players, and they, all they see is bonuses. And if you interrupt their bonuses, they hate you forever. And eventually, one of them will get tilted and full semi. That's just what's going to happen here. Card trade. 112. We take these. Uh, Red might be fixing to slam me pretty soon here. Um, I'm actually going to put these over here. Surprised not breaking more of my bonuses. That 70 stack of theirs in the way is actually going to slow me down here. I'm not actually going to slam that because I don't want to be weaker. I I'm worried red's going to slam me soon. If I move my stack really far away, there's a good chance that the red player is so mechanically slow they don't make it to me in time. Just try and stay far away on the board that way. In 60 seconds, they might not be fast enough to reach me if they're trying to self-destruct on me, right? Uh, Noob says, if it helps, my rough rule of thumb is that the bonus are at least a quarter of the trade value. Then the bonus value. It's tempting unless they don't really matter. Ah. So the trade value is 120. The bonuses we're holding, uh, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 16. They don't really matter that much. You got 30 last turn, which is more than the quarter of the set. So the bonuses, so they, ah, so the bonuses still do matter a little bit. Okay. What's red doing? Red is stacking everything in one big stack. Oh, hit the white player. He's not going to. He's going to attack this right here for sure. They're both, they're both going to be mad at me. I've been the vil- Really? 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 I'm the one who antagonized- I was the one breaking you down here. I'll never understand noobs. I will never understand- I, I, I'm sorry, I shouldn't say noobs. Newer players. I've been getting comments lately about people being like, Where are noobs? Don't say noobs. That's offensive. Uh, whatever. Newer players. I don't mean noobs in like a mean way. It's like new, new players. All right, so I have no idea why they sl why Red did that, but by keeping my big stack away from them, they went for the white player. I, I, I don't, nothing in this match makes sense to me. I don't understand what's going on here. This is wild to me, but they're both still trying to break me. They're both still trying to break me. Oh, that's fine. I think they're just running out of patience. And they, there's, there's, they just wanna, they're running out of patience. They're trying to make it hard to eliminate themselves. I can stack here, go here, 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 here. 13 troops is not enough. I needed a card to really speed it along here. Let's do this and try and move things along quickly here. If I get elimination on you for four cards, that is a game changer for us. I don't know why they slammed each other. I think just b boredom, most likely. We do this. That makes it easier. And now we're going to go over this way. Try to eliminate you and all your little territories are spread out all over across the world. So we're going to just go ahead and Get you out of here, and I don't know why. I, th I think I just manned up. I think it's just because I positioned my troops. I saw the threat that was coming. Move halfway across the board, and well, they they opted to go for the closer targets. They just wanted to wrap things up. Um, we hit here. We hit here. We put oh, uh, like that many there to clear out what's down below over there. We hit this right here. We attack out you. Your four cards gives me plus my three is seven. Gives me a card trade is great for us. Only move that many over. Car trade resets us. <laughs> all the dudes just sitting on four dudes. That 24 hits all of this. My big stack comes over here for this. And because red lost patience went for the white player for whatever reason. I don't know why. Um, we get the win. This is this is the, the strangest match. I don't know how we came back to win this. But we did. And 
There it is. You'll love to see it. But I have plenty more videos you can watch too. See you next time. Unless you want to see the ranks. Beginner. Beginner. Blue was an expert. S surprising. Wasn't expecting that. Bad luck at the start? I don't know. Uh, beginner. Beginner. Like the beginner ranks make sense to me. But that's it. See you next time.